But here we are, people who live here in society are children who, most of our children, with the, at the time, what they call crib death, of our babies dying. And we were coming home, we were producing our children so we can create a, our families to deal with the society. And yet they cripple, they dead. They thought it was crib death. That's what they put in the paper at the time. And then they did an autopsy. They found all these birth defects inside. The uh, doctor said she had like uh, 12 spleens, as many as 12, but they were like seed warts. She, her bowel system was turned around completely backwards. She had a three chambered heart. Well, the doctor told us we were going through such trauma with that to get for the wife to get pregnant again as soon as possible. So we did. Three months later, she was pregnant. When this one was born, she was born with a heart condition. But the first one from before I went to Vietnam, she was perfectly normal. Well, when Carrie was born, she was born with uh, multiple birth defects. And Michaels had mentioned his mother was a nurse. Well, she was an obstetrical nurse. And she was in the delivery room when I gave birth. She said to me that she had delivered approximately 25,000 children, but she had never seen the pattern of birth defects, that there was such um, an abnormality to the type of birth defects that she saw, that you might get a cleft palate and another type of birth defect going together, which would be the norm. But with Kerry, um, every system in her body was involved. She was born without a rectum. Her intestines were malformed. There was no opening at the bottom of her stomach. She needed open heart surgery. Her arm is malformed. Her arm is normal from the shoulder to the elbow, and then her hand is on after the elbow. The word normal, uh, in relationship to what a no how a normal family <laughs> lives, does not apply to uh, Vietnam veterans who have uh, who have the children or the cancer. Uh, we live Vietnam day in and day out. It never goes away.